In this video we're going to do examples 5 and 6 where we're given the margin of error but we have to figure out what the sample size was. So we'll take the example that we saw um, uh, which we already know the answer to but we're just going to come up with a formula to help check us check that. So um, this is the C example for the CNN telephone poll you know uh, this many people and, and so on and the margin of error was 3.1 percent so um, this time so last time we calculated the margin of error given the sample size this time we're going to go in reverse imagine you're given the margin of error but you don't know the sample size how do you get it well let's do a tiny bit of algebra if we take our previous formula where margin of error m equals 100 over root n okay where n is the sample size well write that down m equals 100 over the square root of n and how would you solve that equation for n how would you get n by itself so we're solving a formula I'll give you one hint it might be handy to write this as m over 1 right and from here on out there's a few ways of doing it I hope that you might have seen cross multiplying at some point in your math career. So when you have two fractions equal to each other, you can cross multiply. And that will give us m multiplied by root n is equal to, you know, 1 multiplied by 100. Okay? And now to solve for n, um, we, we keep going with this. So we have m multiplied by root n. And let's first of all just get root n by itself. In other words, n is being square rooted and then multiplied by m. The last thing that's been done is multiplied by m. So we'll divide by m and that'll make things nice and simple, hopefully, right? So if we divide both sides by m, these m's cross cancel and you get the square root of n or the sample square root of the sample size equals 1 times 100. That's just 100 over m, okay? And now, just to get n, but we have the square root of n, but how do you get n by itself? What do you do to get n by itself? How do you undo a square root? What operation undoes, undoes uh, is the, what's the inverse operation to square rooting? Square root. If you square a square root, you get the inside, right? So we're going to square both sides, and we get n equals 100 over m all squared. So this is a formula that will give you the sample size if you know the margin of error. And what we saw in the last video is that this is a kind of a cool formula, m equals square root of n, or 100 over square root of n, because it gives you the margin of error um, just by the sample size. Nothing to do with what the population percentages or what the sample percentages or anything all you have to do is know the sample size and you'll get the margin of error and uh, and therefore we can uh, do some algebra and come up with a formula that gives us the sample size even though we only have the margin of error so all we need for this CNN telephone poll is the uh, okay we have to know the confidence level is 95 percent because these formulas work for a confidence level of 95 percent and then we just need the margin of error we don't need to know um, you know what percentage voted what way so we'll use the formula so n equals this uh, 100 over m all squared and so we just plug in the margin of error as a as a percentage so to speak so what you actually plug in is 3.1 so just be careful plug m in as 3.1 and then plug that in your calculator and uh, solve that so parenthesis 100 over 3.1 all squared so we should get 1040.58 etc and let's see now Again, this is approximate because look, the in, the initial formula for margin of error is approximate, so the the sample size is also approximate. But um, can you have 0.58 of a person? Because n represents sample size number of people. Can you have a decimal portion of a person, or is that ethical to chop off somebody's head and just have 0.58 of them left? 
No, that doesn't work right. So we so we're going to round it and we'll round it might as well round it up. So 1041. But I mean again this just gives you you know this there's, there's going to be a little bit of error here because 3.1 itself was rounded when we did that example you see we 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 actually had 3.128 and we rounded to 3.1. See that? And so we didn't get exactly 1022. We got 1041, but hey, we got close, right? So it it, it gave us close. But I mean, once again, if we had it plugged in 3. Point, if we had it went 100 over 3.128 and squared it, we get a lot closer to 1022. So just watch out for that. Okay, so do example six yourself. A particular poll had a conflict confidence level of 95% with a margin of error of 1.5%. What was the sample size? Press pause and do that yourself. Same thing. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. The formula we need is 100 divided by m and then all squared. And m is 1.5. So we just do that and then we square it. What does that give us? Oops. So 100 divided by 1.5 all squared. I'm getting 4444.44 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, etc. So n is approximately what? And again, sample size this is polling where n represents number of people the number of people polled okay the sample size number of people polled is 4400 so you got around to a whole number obviously you have to and you have to know that that's something you need to think about something you need to know this has to be rounded to a whole number okay um and there we go so the point is that the more number yet, the higher the sample size, the, the lower the margin of error, right? And and obviously, if you have got a low margin of error like that, like 1.5%, you know you must have polled a lot of people, okay?